All right guys, so I had to set all of our food on our dining room table because our island currently, because we're doing our fireplace makeover DIY painting fireplace project right now, and we have all of our tools, paint, you name it, on the island. Uh-oh, you put all your toys up here? There you go. Okay. We put them up there and then got sad and we want them back, okay. This is the first doing our grocery haul at our dining room table, but I love it because it's perfect. It's all in one place. So I'm also going to try and film our dinner recipes to include in this video as well throughout the week. So, so far what we have planned is some brats and I tried to get some sweet potato waffle fries from Publix, but they were out. So that was gonna be our side. So I'm gonna have to think of something else to make with that. You guys are probably gonna hear a lot of Fletcher in the back, but I also got some ground Mommy. sausage. This is- Daddy. Mommy! Is that what you're saying? I got this to make egg roll in a bowl. So it's basically the egg roll without the roll. Um, I also got some chicken tenderloins to make chicken and fried rice, like a stir fry. It's definitely a go-to and a staple in our house. And then we got some hot dogs to go with the brats because the kids prefer these. Actually, Ari is the only one that likes the brats. The rest of the kids, they prefer hot dogs. And then I got some diced pancetta. Did I say that right? A lot of you guys that are watching that are Italian are probably cringing at me right now. Um, but this is going to be for a pasta meal. You guys stay tuned and you guys will see that. I got some sliced honey ham, pepperoni for kids lunches, some Brussels sprouts. This is actually gonna go with our salmon. I'm making our soy sauce and brown sugar air fried salmon. We make it all the time. It's one of our favorites, so that's gonna go with that. Uh, green grapes, we got strawberries, frozen blueberries, watermelon, I got a green bell pepper and onion. I like to saute that and eat that with my brat. And then we have some tomato sauce. That's gonna be for that pasta meal that I was talking to you guys. I don't even know if there's an actual name for it. Actually, it's called pink sauce pasta. That's what it's called. So you guys will see that. And then it also called for chicken broth and shaved Parmesan cheese. Got some cheese sticks, bananas. This is my favorite go-to yogurt that I've been having a lot lately. I was eating the Too Good brand, but I'm trying to eliminate as much dairy as I can. So I am now eating the So Delicious dairy-free coconut milk yogurt. So I got a few flavors. I think I got two vanilla, one blueberry, and then one strawberry. Got a jug of unsweetened, I meant to get unsweetened regular, but this is vanilla, but it's okay. But got some almond milk and then this is my favorite creamer it took me so long to stop using regular dairy milk so i got the usually i get the original unsweetened kind but they were out so i am going to try the hazelnut and see if i like that got some annie's flaky biscuits i'm going to make some donuts in the air fryer with those with like some sugar and cinnamon i'll share that with you guys as well minced garlic also a whole bunch of ready rice this just saves so much time i know it's not the healthiest but for us it saves time and we like it so we got the whole grain brown rice for the chicken stir fry and then the coconut jasmine is going to go with the salmon and brussels sprout and then over here we have some pirate booties these are aged white cheddar rice and corn puffs all the kids love those they're perfect for snacks and after school snacks because they take snacks to school so sometimes they'll take those or have them after school and then also some half and half that's for the pasta meal and then fletcher really likes these earth's best snack bars, the strawberry ones. He really likes these and it makes for like a quick, easy breakfast. And then I got some assorted Pringles for the kids. I think they're six cheddar cheese, six original, and then six sour cream and onion. Also got some mini muffins from the bakery in Publix. The kids love these for breakfast. Got some orange juice, yeah. some dino nuggets. nuggets. Nolan's favorite. He yeah. loves the dino nuggets. And then these are Fletcher's favorite he loves these yeah. mini pancakes they're out of the um ego ones right now at Publix so we decided to start getting these this is the brand so what it looks like and he actually really likes these just as much and then Nolan really likes these kid fresh wagon yeah. wheels mac and cheese I'll let you guys read that I'm not gonna say it out loud but it has 12 grams of protein so I got two boxes of those Wait, that's healthy? yes very healthy that mac and cheese yes do you like it yeah. You're gonna keep eating it? Yeah. Okay, good, good deal. Um, and then I got 
some edamame. These are steamable snack packs. Those are crackers, like Ritz crackers. Um, so I'll use this for the stir fry and then they just make a good snack. Aria really likes edamame. And then we got some chewy bars, yeah, chewy. granola bars, and then some pasta for that pasta meal. Some cereal, so you want to show them what's over there, bud? We got honey nut Cheerios. What's the other one? Got Fruit Loops, and then mommy's favorite. I love blueberry morning. This Baby, is by what Post, is this? and it's the great greens. What is this? That's brown sugar for the salmon to make the marinade. And then we also got some hot dog buns for the brats and hot dogs, some Oreos. I like some Oreos. I would I would like to dip those in milk. You would? Well, yeah. we will have it as a treat. I also got some stuff to make some homemade donuts too for a treat. But like Nolan showed you, we have some crackers. It's just the Publix brand, but it's the same thing as the Ritz. Um, the Little Bites, blueberry muffins, blueberry bagels, and then a baguette for our pasta meal. And then yeah. last but not least, I know I showed the milk. Last but not least, least? I can't talk now. Last but not least, the bread. bread. Got some loaf of bread. So I'm gonna put everything up. Mommy. It, yep, yeah, it is. All those bags are in there. So are you gonna help me put some stuff away? Yeah. Do you mind helping mommy? Yeah. Like a light, lighting up in the dark. You make it right, I forgot how to act. It's so classic. Every time you make me nervous and I lose my way. It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words So this is not a dinner meal. I'm actually making this for lunch, but I wanted to include it since I told you guys I was gonna share some recipes in this video. So today's been really busy. I didn't get to show you guys step by step, but I will leave all the ingredients and directions, everything down below in the description. I will remember this time. Usually I am so bad at remembering, but I promise you guys, I will remember. But I made egg roll in a bowl. We have some ground sausage coleslaw mix it's actually really easy and fast to make so a whole bag of coleslaw mix and then ground ginger 
I just got the stuff from the tube and some soy sauce. I have some of the ingredients right now. And actually the recipe does not call for sesame oil, but I like to put a little bit in there. And then some garlic powder. So I'm gonna put this in a bowl. This is also very semi-healthy because there is quite a bit of sodium, but it's also low carb. And I'm gonna put some sliced green onions on the top. I'll show you guys here in a minute how it looks. And then I'm trying to figure out what else is in there. I think that's it. I think that's all the ingredients. So like I said, very easy to make and really fast too. For dinner, we are having roasted Brussels sprouts, salmon, and rice. I actually just got done putting oil, salt, pepper, garlic, and oil. I don't know if I said oil yet, but I got done putting all of that together, mixing it up, and now I'm gonna put it in the oven at 350, usually for like 15 to 20 minutes, and then some dino nuggets for the kids because I know they will not touch the salmon. Fletcher and Aria might. And then we're gonna have the coconut jasmine, and then I just got done seasoning the salmon. So we were gonna do a brown sugar and soy sauce marinade. That's our favorite marinade, but the brown sugar was super hard and we couldn't mix it together. So as a backup, we're gonna do another recipe. All I did was season it with some garlic powder, lemon pepper, salt, pepper, and smoked paprika. So now I'm gonna put it in the air fryer. So I might have to cook these in two batches because these are pretty big fillets so i'm gonna put it in the air fryer if you guys have not tried salmon in the air fryer yet you are missing out because it is our favorite that's the only way that we eat it now so i'm going to turn this on so all i do is i turn it to the fish setting so if your air fryer has that then you're good to go but it's for 15 minutes and i don't know the temperature 3.30, but I might even do 3.50. out a new pasta meal tonight. I have all the ingredients, so this is everything that you'll need, which is my kind of meal, because there's not a lot of ingredients. So I was trying to get my hands on this pasta. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll just put it right there, but they were out of that pasta, so we got some rigatoni instead, and then salt and pepper. Um, it did say parsley for garnish, but I don't, I am not a fan of fresh parsley, so if you are, definitely add this to the recipe list. And then some shaved Parmesan cheese. So to make the sauce, you're gonna need some minced garlic. I'm just using jarred, half and half, chicken broth or stock, tomato sauce. I don't know if I should try to embarrass myself and try to pronounce this again, but diced pancetta? Pancha I don't even know. That's probably not the right way. I, I tried it and butchered it. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to my pan, add the garlic. I'm gonna add the diced, whatever it's called. <laughs> All right, so I let that cook for a little bit. I'm now going to add one cup of the tomato sauce. And now I'm gonna add half a cup of the chicken broth. So I let this simmer for about three or four minutes. Now I'm going to add one cup of half and half and slowly mix it together and then let it simmer for about two to three minutes. All right, so now I'm going to add, this is half a cup, I have to add two of these, but one cup of shaved Parmesan cheese. You can probably substitute it with grated. And now I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. So I added a little bit more cheese and it thickened it up a little bit. So now I'm going to add the pasta, mix it all together. All 
right guys, so I am going to do a voiceover for this portion. We had my mom and grandma over last week and we made them our buffalo cheesesteaks, which by the way, they loved. So I know we've probably have shown this recipe before. I know we have, I think in our Blackstone recipe video, but I wanna show you guys it again. It's one of our favorite recipes. I could have this probably almost every single week. So Frank is just cutting up our veggies. I say our, but I mean my veggies because he will not touch the green bell peppers or onions, but if you like that on your cheesesteak, then go ahead and saute that up. Now, Frank uses, I think a shaved ribeye. Is that right, babe? Yeah. Okay, shaved ribeye steak uh, for our Philly cheesesteak, and he just puts it on the Blackstone and adds a little bit of the Montreal steak seasoning, and I think that's all that he adds to it. Um, so after he gets done cooking that, you can add your favorite buffalo sauce, whatever kind of buffalo sauce you'd like to use, or if you don't want it spicy, you don't have to put anything on it as well. Now, I prefer mine without the bread. I just like it in a bowl with my onions and green bell peppers, but if you guys do like it, which most people do, it's better that way, I agree. Um, but we just took some hoagie rolls and cut them in half, and Frank put a little bit of butter on the Blackstone and toasted up the rolls. And then after that, oh wait, I forgot the best part, the cheese. You're going to add provolone cheese to the top, and then once it is all nice and melted then it is done you can add your meat to your roll top it with your peppers and onions or if you want something more low carb like me I just put mine in a bowl and it is good just like this as well but you guys this is definitely a must try you have to try this recipe because it is so good all right guys so this is gonna be the last recipe that I'm gonna share with you guys in this video I am making air fried donuts for a little treat tonight after dinner and I actually saw this on TikTok and I was like okay I have to try this because you know we love our air fryer we love making stuff in our air fryer so I just have some canned biscuits I just took the end of this piping part I don't even know what it's called but I just made a hole in the middle melted some butter in a bowl and then I just have some cinnamon sugar in here so first thing we're gonna do is coat our donut in some butter all right, and then put it in our cinnamon sugar. All right, so I'm gonna do my first batch of donuts. I can even get it in there. What the heck is going on? There we go. 3.30, oops, not that long, for seven minutes. All right, guys. Ooh, Nolan, look how good those look. You ready to eat them? Those look so good. All right guys, so that is going to be the end of this grocery haul, food, organization, meal idea video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys. Shout out to Kelsey, who just placed an order. Thank you, Kelsey.